You're an economist, and economists are extremely sensitive with the issue of causality. And there is an important, the million dollar question with respect to causality is to what extent it is austerity to blame for uh, the so-called humanitarian crisis that we are facing in Greece. What's your view on this? Well, first of all, I would avoid calling it the humanitarian crisis, and we know why. I mean, real crises, real humanitarian crises are much more severe. There has been a big drop in GDP, we all know these things. Uh, the question who is to blame, it's kind of hard. It's not even clear, for example, that austerity is causing this drop in GDP. And even if it was austerity, it's not clear that, for example, it's the creditors, the IMF, the EU, that have caused the austerity. We know that Greece had a huge uh, debt and it had to be, the, the deficit had to be reduced. And so this caused austerity. Uh, it's not clear that the austerity is causing all this drop in GDP. Actually, we think, and there were many people who were telling us, people from the industry, that there's a major issue with uh, liquidity. So there's a lack of liquidity that's actually killing the economy. And we talked about ways to restore liquidity, restore confidence. Actually, the fact that it seems Brexit is receding as a, as a, as a risk is a good thing. It will help all these companies to start exporting more and uh, be able to finance their needs, produce more for the local market, etc. So what are the mid-term prospects for the Greek economy? That's a good question. So we talked about the fact that since we hope things are getting better now in the acute crisis front, we have to think of ways, or we, we need to think how Greece will develop in the medium term and how especially we'll be able to solve the problem of unemployment. You have one million people without a job, which is of course a, a big social issue. And I think I was, I was uh, advocating the thesis that uh, tourism is a way forward. Tourism is actually already growing in Greece. Uh, in the past year it, we hit record highs and we hope this year will be similar. And it's actually a major exporting industry, maybe the biggest one. When people look at exports, Greek exports, they find that they're sort of flat. But if you include tourism, which is obviously an export in services, then you will see that it's, a, it's a, something contributing a lot. And it can contribute more. So what I was thinking is that we have to look at examples like Florida. Florida is a state that has... I'm Florida of Europe, in a way. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, we don't, I don't like these things like Denmark of the South and, you know, it's oversimplifying. But there are places like Florida that uh, have many tourism, uh, sorry, <laughs> many tourists. Uh, actually, they have 93 million tourists per year, while Greece, with a similar potential, we think, so it has a you know, good landscape, it's very attractive to tourists, it only has about 23 million people. So we think we're not reaching the capacity yet. Greece can grow more. And we're also mentioning points uh, that Greek hotel industry will need financing from outside Greece. So once the liquidity uh, starts coming back to Greece and once hotels will be able to borrow, let's say, from German banks in the end, this will actually be reflected soon enough in the tourism figures and this will help reduce uh, poverty, reduce unemployment and raise GDP.